This is the Don't Quit Podcast by Typo Prince. I'm your host, Nick Mann. This is episode 12, the entrepreneurial nine to five meal planner. What's special about this episode is this all came from my good friend, Lewis Bond. Be sure to check out his work at stagandantler.com. Let's be honest, our bodies weren't built to peer at screens all day and run on caffeine. Entrepreneurs are humans, not machines. However much we like to be, and most of us could do with the taking better care of ourselves. Evening meals are one thing, but how often do we really take the time to make sure we're filling our bellies during the day? How many empty biscuit packets are there in the bin next to your desk? Eating well doesn't have to mean eating fancy. Good fuel can take moments to prepare. Let's start simple, shall we? First is breakfast. I don't think there's a single meal more important to an entrepreneur than breakfast. Since noticing that there was a direct correlation between the size of my breakfast and the number of words I managed to write before lunchtime, I haven't held back. Fast is a stack cereal, and that includes wheat biscuits, whole grain cereals, muesli, low sugar granola, and bran flakes. A big dollop of Icelandic or Greek yogurt, and I prefer 0% fat. Add a swirl of honey or agave nectar. Fresh fruit, such as strawberries, blueberries, banana, raspberries, currants, or slices of soft pear and peach are just a great way for a boost of natural sweetness to start the day. You can also use soy or nut milk. If you're going for a dairy, choose something below full fat to make sure your body gets enough fats and protein to fuel it, but not enough to feel bloated and fall asleep. And think about banana French toast. Mash a ripe banana in a bowl. Add a few teaspoons of nut or dairy milk, a spoon of peanut butter, and a good pinch of allspice. Mix it till you have a loose egg-like mixture. Cut your bread into two centimeter thick chunks. Yesterday's shabata is a great choice, and give them a two minute soak in the mixture. Fry the bread off in a heated pan. Uh, coconut oil can be a really nice crispy texture. Serve with maple syrup and more peanut butter. And a good cheating is fruit and, bes- uh, and ba- breakfast biscuits. We've all been there. The Skype call is in 10 minutes and you've barely had time to take a shower. Whatever you do in those precious minutes, please, for the love of your body, eat. Commercially available breakfast biscuits are a great compromise and you need a protein, complex sugars, and fats that these guys can provide to start the day. Slice up an apple and munch through that too. And don't forget to drink, you've got this. And now onto lunch. I have two aims at lunchtime, eat a lot of something, make it something light. The, few, the full meals available in company car- canteens are great and all, but they can slow you right down and can even send you to sleep. Not so much more tempting at home. Fast is everything rice cakes. You know, cakes, they can be pretty unappetizing. The trick is to load them up. Uh, God put salt and vinegar rice cakes, big, fluffy, crunchy ones, probably saltier than I should strictly be eating. Uh, Toppings are great is cottage cheese, honestly. Felling that soft cheese of your choice, it's protein o'clock right now. Big spoonfuls of chutney or pickle. And don't forget salads. Be bold, be peppery. Load your cakes with rocket, chard, lamb's lettuce, watercress, and a healthy dose of balsamic vinegar. Eat these cakes glory with your fingers. Be messy, get tactile, use your hands. You need to taste strong flavors. It's going to wake up right again after that heavy morning. And the time to think is egg and avocado sandwiches. You know, you're working from home, great stuff. Lunch is your new golden hour. Golden like eggs, fry them, poach them, boil them, scramble them, and add salt and pepper. Grab yourself some sub- substantial bread, the time you find in your tea for hours afterwards. Seeds and wholemeal are great news for your gut. Butter it up and add that egg. Slice as much avocado as you can eat in one sitting. And add it to your growing sandwich. More pepper, yes please. Top it all with some leaves and pickles and then squish the whole thing till you can fit into your mouth. A cheat is tinned fresh on toast. You accidentally stared at Facebook for longer than intended. And today is not a good day for rescheduling. Don't skip lunch, it's going to be okay. Keep a supply of prepared tin fish in your cupboard for emergencies like these. Five minutes and you can have a bread in and out for the toaster and fish in and out of the microwave. Hot and tomato sardines can 
on crunchy toast and less time than it took you to read through this nose your news feed oh happy day you know sna snacks are already awesome for like roll-ups you know soft tortillas whole milk sweet chili sun-dried tomatoes gluten-free whatever floats your boat uh, filler is for savory times. Try cream cheese or refined beans for sweeter moments. Peanut butter for apocalypse scenarios. Both spread it on thick. Toppings great is pickles, ham, banana, bacon, cheese, chopped fruit, and add the perfect partner to your filler in a smooth layer on top. And then roll that tortilla up tight and slice into thin chunks. Congratulations, you just created convenient bites of awesome. Why are you thinking when you could be snacking? Froyo fruit is one of those spare 10 minute moments of greatness. Make enough for your freezer for a muffin tray. Put uh, paper cases in that muffin tray and load these cases up with a lot of centimeters of your favorite yogurts. Now drunk, dunk a huge strawberry or chunk of banana in the middle of each and stick the whole thing in the freezer for one hour. What do you get after that one hour? You get fruity froyo you can eat in a couple of bites. They'll wake you up with a zing. You can't cheat snacks is a great one is granola. Yes, yeah, seriously, get yourself a bowl of dry granola. If you don't have 10 minutes to take, you can take five. You'd be amazed how amazing it would be to develop the ability to modestly move granola from bowl to mouth with one hand and keep typing with the other. Just like crisp but healthier. You just don't have to put the whole packet by your desk. Trust me on this. You don't know how much you can make disappear. Thank you for listening to this episode. I'm Nick Mann, and you just listened to the Don't Quit podcast by Typo Prince. If you'd like to contact me, send me an email at nick at typoprince.com. That is T-Y-Y-P-O Prince. Also, I encourage you to rate the show on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, and share with your friends. Typo Prince makes dreamers into doers, and we have the journal for people who don't like to journal. It's called the One Step Journal, the most productive writing companion that will help you make your dreams one step at a time, featuring over 200 pages and a gloss signature design cover created by me. You will get a weekly challenge that get you out of your comfort zone and keep track of all your habits you're building backed on science. For this special episode, use coupon code PODCAST at checkout to get 10% off at typoprints.com to make your first step today.